lovely to see you all. It's actually delightful. And it humbles my heart to see so many of you here. We are expecting many people who are still on their way. Please pray for traveling mercies. We know that Brother Godfrey has been to Australia and I think he's gone to all four continents, or seven continents, before he's arriving here at Kefun Lee. There are so many challenges for this gentleman and, um, and he is still coming. He's arriving tonight at midnight. So please pray for the driver because when Wales is dark, it's dark. <laughs> so, Really, 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 if, if for those of you who don't know me, my name is Joan Cornwall, and um, it's such a blessing that God has inspired us. We have such a wonderful planning committee team, but he has inspired us to actually produce a second annual health conference. And this is the true gospel commission in action. Amen. Preaching, teaching and healing, which is our responsibility. And for those of you who come from um, the, your church, please, whatever you learn this week, take it back to them. Take it back to them and share it with them. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you that any of our souls are waiting for us. And we have to make sure that we are in control of our God-given temple. And we can only help others if we help ourselves. Just remember that. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through some slides and then I'm going to um, pass you on to Pastor Simon Davis. And I thought, you know, I'm going to put my glasses on because then I'm blaming the lights. <laughs> Not with lights in here. So, um, really, what I wanted to do was to take you through some slides. And um, I thought it would be important for us to see the... Um, has anyone heard of independent ministries? <coughs> Every church is supported by people working in the Lord's Vineyard, correct? Yeah. And so the planning committee, which is a brilliant team of people that have come together to create such a conference... And what we are so happy about is that this conference is supporting so many people from so many different places. And uh, whether you are in uh, Seventh-day Adventism, whether you are in uh, Sunday Church, we are worshipping the Lord God, which is true. But we have independent ministries, which is Nature's Light. We have Plants Easy. We have Unachente Farm. We have Holistic You. We have True Temperance International. We have the Association of Health Reformers, Manor House, and Mercy's Door. We are children of God and we have our ministries, personal ministries. But as Paul says, what does he say? The body of Christ is made up of many members. Amen? But we are all... Amen. So this program, and we're going to be printing the program, and I'm sorry if you can't see it, but I did send it through, or we did, sorry, send it through. Um, but just to let you know, starting tomorrow morning, it starts at six if you want to get up. If you, if you feel, you know, energetic and you want to go for an exercise, it starts at um, six o'clock in the morning. And then after that, after six o'clock, um, you will be coming to um, your devotion, your morning devotion, which is going to be held in here, and um, I believe it's going to be Elder Scott Turner from Centurion Health that will be running that uh, um, devotion. And then that's seven till eight, and then after that, you are going to have <coughs> breakfast. Breakfast starts at eight till nine uh, thirty for those of you who have booked catering, and we're going to talk about catering in a bit. Um, and so after that, you can just go for a digestive walk for those of you who know what it is. Can anyone tell me why we go for a digestive walk? Anyone? Yeah, I see Gina saying she's, she's doing this. And, and what was that? Yeah, it helps your body digest the food properly and to make new blood. That's what it does, so digestive walk. And so after that, the workshops begin, and Pastor Davis is going to introduce the workshops. And if all the workshop, workshop team 
or leaders are here, they're going to give you um, a little taste one minute of what they're going to be sharing in that workshop. So workshops begin 10 till 11.15 and then, is that someone's mobile? That's the new one. It sounds like the old fashioned Z cars. There goes somebody else who has a mobile and doesn't know how to work it. <laughs> I know how to shut it up. Pass it. <laughs> oh, it's not coming off? Oh. No, let's have sympathy, please. Let's have sympathy. It could be my mother. It could be my mother. I understand. Somebody. 93. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us. 93. Thank you. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you for taking that off. It took a team to do it. Yes, that's good. There was networking going on here. And then, and then, so workshop one is 10 to 11.15, and then you're going to be treated to um, workshop or cohort, cohort two, which finishes at 12.45, and then at one o'clock till 2.30, we have lunch. And then, and then um, after that, we have cohort three of workshops, and starting at 4.30, between four and 4.30, you will be treated to um, the marketplace, which we're going to go into, consultations, and then health checks and therapies. And that is wonderful, because we have a wonderful team of people who is going to offer services to you here. And then um, we're going to have our evening worship, and as you can see the names, and sometimes it could be subject to change based on what the ministerial team have decided for who's going to speak. But there is a morning worship and the evening worship. Marketplace, so I told you about the different uh, ministries that exist here, and they have their industry. They have their industry, individual industry, which means they make products and um, they, uh, you know, sell books, etc., and they bring it here. And because they are self-supporting, that is the way they make their income, right? Yeah. Why have you all gone quiet? Nobody's going to go to the marketplace. <laughs> you listening? Yeah. Okay. Right. So with the marketplace, you can go there, and I'm telling you this: you're not going to find it on Amazon. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Come to the marketplace and you will see what I mean. There is a gentleman sitting right at the front. And last year, the poor man did not make it to the marketplace. Do you know who I'm talking about? Pastor Sandy. <laughs> he brought his lovely oils from Spain. And I was doing a massage and I heard a commotion outside the treatment room. And when I looked up, poor Pastor Murphy was like this. And Pastor Davis was like this. And they had mobbed him. And the oils did not make it to the marketplace. Not even I got to buy, buy one. But this year it's going to be controlled. Right, Pastor Davis? Don't let them bully you. Go into the marketplace and sell it from there to make it fair. All right, but it is good oil. It is good oil. So it's, it's different things like um, the oils. Uh, I know exactly what some people are going to be selling. Cayenne pepper, 120 heat units to 130,000 heat units. Yeah, that is what is going to be sold there. That is the medicinal grade. So if you want to circulate your blood, if you have high blood pressure, get that. It's on sale. All right? Okay. And many, many other things, products are on sale. We've got music on sale. We've got books on sale, etc. You won't be disappointed. So go to the marketplace. The therapy room. So this is where we will offer treatments, back massage, infrared sauna, full body massage, steam sauna, Indian head massage. 
kapow. Amen. That is what we're offering. Isn't that good? Yeah. I'm telling you. So if you want to book a treatment, you'll have the experienced therapists who are going to look after you. And it's not going to be in the room we were last year because it was a bit smaller. We've made it bigger. We've got more massage beds and all the equipment and we've got more therapists. And so hopefully, you know, more of you will be receiving your um, therapy. So Pastor Davis, I'm now going to hand over to you for the workshop introductions. And thank you all for coming once again. It's wonderful to see you all. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Just delighted to be here with you. Thank you very much, John, uh, for that. Uh, beloved, just want to talk a little bit uh, about the team that has uh, put this event together, uh, TTI, members of TTI and AHR. So I'm going to ask those folk just to stand for us. Uh, if you're all here, just stand so that the saints can gaze into your eyes. <laughs> No, we're, we're not standing. Come on, guys. Where are, where are you? Just, just, just stand very quickly. TTI and uh, AHR members. Thank you very much. There's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of planning and strategizing that's brought us to this point. We want to thank God. Also, I want to thank the Lord for the for traveling mercies, for uh, the fact that we are here safely. We still pray for um, Elder Godfrey, who's on his way. Uh, but God has been good to us, and we are looking forward to having a wonderful time here together this week. Now, what I want to do is to just talk a little bit about the workshop, and I'm hoping that as I call out the names of the different individuals who will be doing the workshops, they're going to come and just talk about uh, the, the, their presentation and the content of it very briefly. And that will assist us in being able to choose the workshop that you want to go to. Recognize that uh, we will not all be able to go to the same workshop at the same time. So these workshops will be repeated throughout the week and you will have an opportunity uh, to go to it. Um, it's, a, it's like potluck, so you will be able to go to uh, um, as many as you can throughout the week. So, first of all, let me call on um, Shirley, one of our organizers. Shirley, are you here? Just to come and talk about uh, your workshop. Dr. Lucille, will you come and just talk about what you've been doing for me? Rowena, will you come? Just go ahead, please. All right. Um, good evening everyone. Good evening. Since I've come here, I haven't stopped smiling because I see so many familiar faces and people I've met from last year as well. And I'm really excited to meet those people who I'm not so familiar with as well. So this year, we're going to be doing the, the Deadly Trio. The Deadly Trio. And it's three different workshops. The first workshop is going to be called the Fat Controller. And we're looking at obesity and the impact obesity have on us. But also importantly, how you can eliminate obesity. We don't want to lose weight, do we? We don't want to lose weight because if we lose our keys, if we lose our phone, if we lose anything, we want to find it again. So what we want to do, we want to eliminate excess weight, excess fat. So that's the first workshop. The second workshop is going to be called, it's called the, um, the, um, what is it? The Silent Assassin. The Silent Assassin, and that's going to be about hypertension. And the third workshop, which is going to be on Thursday, is called the real pandemic, and that's about diabetes. Diabetes is the real pandemic. So every, from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there'll be different themes for the workshops. The fat controller, the silent assassin, and the real pandemic. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Um, William, this is my lovely wife, Rowena. 
Hello everyone. Hi. Wow, it's great to see so many of you so early. <laughs> ah, and some familiar faces. Right, I'm going to do a workshop with you and it's kind of sharing my experience and I'm hoping that you will share your experience with me as well. Um, where we are on the farm, we have a lot of produce. And I said to myself, what must I do with this? And over the years, um, I've learned and developed methods of preserving and you know, using what I've got. And also making healthy products for myself instead of going to the shop to buy it. So I, I just want to share my experience. I'm no expert. And I'm hoping that you will also share your ex experience with, with us. I remember I was brought up in Jamaica many years ago. Not that many, really. <laughs> and we ate naturally. Yeah. When my grandmother went to the shop, she didn't have great big bags. We ate from the ground. And uh, that's the way the Lord wants us to live and to eat. So we're going to share some of that my experience and I'm hoping you'll share some of yours about food preservation, about making healthy foods. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Sherlyn. 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 Sherlyn and Natalia. And Natalia, have you got something as well? Please come. Yeah. Thank you, workshop. Um, good evening everyone. Good evening. So, in the afternoon, there'll be a few workshops in the afternoon. So myself and Sharon, we do oils. So we're oily babies. So what we're going to do is talk about oils, essential oils, the benefits of essential oils, and um, how you can use it when it comes to health. When it comes to health problems, whether it's back pain, um, foot pain, belly ache, <coughs> um, emotional as well. So we're going to talk about oils and how they can be used. Because although they've been used thousands of years ago, they only just come into popularity now when it comes to using oils when it comes to health. Okay. Right. Hello everyone. Hi. Um, I don't feel prepared but I'm going to just quickly just get straight to the point. Um, my name is Natalia and I will be sharing um, in my workshop um, regarding mental health. I'm a counsellor and um, I started a ministry called Christ Therapy in 2019. Um, and I'm just really passionate about helping people with their emotional needs, with things that they go through. So by God's grace, we'll be going through three different sessions on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The first one will be based on abandonment. So what that would look like, what it can um, turn into, like how it can affect your relationships with people. Um, so that's the first one we're going to go through. And then there'll be um, a second day where we'll be talking about weight and our relationship to food, yeah? So that one might be a little bit of a triggering one. Yeah, I've been there, like, by God's grace, like, it, it, it's a struggle, you know? And we could talk about healthy food and the health message and what we need to do, but in all reality, it's hard sometimes, you know? Like, food tastes good. <laughs> it tastes great, you know? And everyone wants your food to taste nice and, we all want to look good at the same time, so it can be a real dilemma, and especially for women, yeah, especially us. I know what that's like. I've given birth, I've got four children, and it is hard to lose the weight, and it, it affects your self-esteem, it affects how you see yourself, your self-worth, it's so deep. So I'm looking forward to doing a group on that as well. And then the last one that we'll be going through, guys, right, and this one might be triggering to the older generation, Potentially, it's going to be based on um, generation. One second, guys. I've got it written down. It's based on generational curses, how our life experiences impact our relationships. So, if you're a mother in this house and you want to connect with your children again, or if you're a father who sometimes might be a bit withdrawn to your children, you don't really like know them like that. Or even like if you you have some trauma that you might have went through with like what your granny did, or your great grand, what your great granny taught your granny, and what your granny taught your mummy, and then they did a certain thing and you've been doing it and they just don't really feel right anymore and you want to get the tools to try and do new things, you know, that can build your relationship, that can really give that love in your family and hopefully create an influence, yeah? It, I hope you're not getting what I'm saying, yeah? yeah? So guys, over the 
doing the mental health stuff, other than Christ therapy, I'm also gonna have a stall, yeah, on natural hair. Don't watch the hair today, yeah? I was meant to, I planned to come here, get my shopping, blow dry my hair and come out with some big hair, so everyone's like, whoa! Look at all that hair, but unfortunately, you got me with the bun today. But we've got seven days to go, yeah? But, six days. But anyone who is interested in growing their hair, embracing their beautiful hair, yeah? Come and speak to me. I'm going to be giving out free consultations, yeah? And we might even be having a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little so, one second, a little, a little, what's the word? You know, like a little after the party place. Yeah, you can, come on, that. Sister Joan, she knows what we're on about, but any ladies that want to come and, you know, we talk about, like, hairstyles and stuff like that, just speak to Sister Joan or myself and you can come along, okay? Sorry for talking too long. Bye, guys. <laughs> That's uh, Perry, please come, come Perry. Um, also, J uh, Jackie, if you're doing a workshop, please come. Uh, so if you are doing a workshop, just come down. Um, please, go ahead. Yeah, I'll keep it short. <laughs> so I'm Kerry, um, I'm gonna be giving free legal advice. Um, unheard of, yeah? Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving advice on um, how to set your house in order. I did a presentation um, at the beginning of the year, and it's going to be based on that, but it's going to be giving you a lot more. Um, it's going to be showing you how the law is related to the Bible, how um, God is preparing a people to stand, and also on how you can actually um, prepare your house, your children, your property in, in a way that's going to be cost effective. So I'm going to be presenting how we're going to do wills um, as Christians. I'm going to be looking at lasting powers of attorney. I'm going to be looking at declarations of trust um, and I'll be able to offer you um, just tips really on how you can put things in place to save money, um, to help you with family, um, not family planning, but lifetime planning. And it's not just for those of us that are over 50 or over 65, it's for young people as well. So um, I wrote my first will when I was 25. And, um, and, I've been, and I'm still here. Uh, exactly. A lot of people are fearful about writing laws when you're young because you feel as though it's going to be like a death penalty or something. But really and truly, as young people, we really need to be thinking about these things. And if you have children, if you have grandchildren, if you have a little bit of money in the bank, a lot of money in the bank, you can use it to, you know, to, to you know, just use it wisely and make preparation, basically. So that's what it's going to be about. I want to make it sure so that nobody misses out. We do the same thing um, over the three days because I know that everybody wants to go to all the different presentations. I don't want anybody to miss out on what I'm presenting. So I'm going to just keep it um, short and simple. I'll be able to ask any questions afterwards. I know some things are confidential and private. So I'll let you know where you can come and speak to me confidentially as well. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Michaela. I'm Danielle. And this week we'll be with the children presenting on, we'll be with the workshop Mini Missionaries. And we're basically teaching the children about their bodies. So the first day will be called The House We Live In, which will be basically teaching the children what's in their bodies and how it works and how they can keep it healthy and strong. The second day we'll be talking about the eight laws of health and the immune system and how they can you know, fight against colds and flus and what they can do to keep their immune system strong. And the third day will be about the eight laws of health. And there will also be many different experiments and activities for them to do so it won't be boring. Um, and also we have some workshops, workshops as well um, where, we will be, where we make um, natural cosmetics that we use on ourselves and sharing oh, it with you guys. That's nice. And also, um, I'll be making some plant-based cakes and cupcakes without any wheat or sugar, so that'll be available as well. Oh, and amen. my mum is also available for health consultations. Yes. So, I hope to see you tomorrow. Amen. Oh, that's sweet. Can I just ask if there's anybody from the... Um, Dr. Um, Men Wilson, if you come, uh, I was going to say, is there anyone else here from the Centurion team? Uh, if they would come. Zebulon. Zebulon and son, welcome. Yeah. 
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Maimon Wilson. Uh, just something brief about me. I've been a medical missionary physician for 52 years. I uh, specialize in terminal diseases. I plan to really try to get into how to cure the incurables. I work with a lot of brain cancer, really a lot of female-related problems, how you can uh, alleviate a lot of female problems. That's what my passion was, but I pretty much turned that over to the sisters now. Anyway, we're going to talk about how to deal with these problems, how to understand them, and to hopefully give some hope to the hopeless mm -hmm. by using aggressive uh, natural medicine. <laughs> and that's really all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is my son. Uh, okay, I'm um, Zebulon Wilson. Um, I'm uh, Wilson's son. And uh, I'm just going to be presenting a few natural remedies uh, that you can do in your own home. And just going over a few things um, that you could, simple things that you could do yourself. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just we're going to have a good time. So uh, that's all I have to say. Nice to see you. Scott Turner, are you in the building? And Tomia, if you're here. We will call you down to come and just say a few words. Okay, are they here? Okay. And is there anyone else that, that I've missed, please, from the, the... Oh, Louise, come. Come, excellent. Thank you. Okay, good evening everybody. Good evening. I'm Louise from Mercy's Door Health Ministry. Some of you may know me from a lot of the detox programs that we do. Um, hi, in person. <laughs> okay, I'll be joining Brother Maven and his team to um, do kind of like a mentoring role in terms of the cancer program that we're doing. That's going to be um, the workshops that we're going to be doing here. But my own ministry, we do in-house and out-house um, um, programs for people who can't come to our home or we can go to their home. And also we do, um, but today we're going to be talking, this week in particular we're going to be talking about um, cancer, does it mean the end, okay? And we all know that it doesn't necessarily mean the end. So make sure everybody, we want everybody to have a really good time, go to the other workshops and then come and visit us as well. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How's everyone? Good. Good. Nice to see you all. Um, my name is Tanya Jackson, and I work with Brother Maven and Centurion Ministry. And I'm going to do a workshop on female health this week. So come by and learn some things about female health, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, good evening. Good evening. It's, it's a blessing to be here. I'm Brother Scott Turner, and I also work with um, Centurion Ministries. Um, depending on how the Holy Spirit leads, we might talk about herbs, we might talk about some of the spiritual applications of medical missionary work as well. So um, I like to combine that because when you really look at it, herbs are probably only like 15% of the work. It's not what most people think, what herb can I take? But herbs can be a powerful, effective tool, but there's a lot more to go with it. So that's what we're going to talk about. Like So here we are, beloved. Uh, have you been to the church potluck and you're just confused? Yep. You want to take everything and you know that you can't take it because take everything because you're going to get sick. All right. <laughs> so this week uh, you will need to make a choice. Uh, just think carefully uh, about those workshops that you will be able to attend. And uh, may God bless you as you make your choice. So I'm going to invite our praise team to come forward and, and teach you the theme song at this time. Good, good evening everybody, it's me again, 
Um, so I'm Sharon, this is Cynthia, and this is Joe. So those of you who came later, we are we. Okay, and you are you. So we're going to do today, uh, this week's theme song. It was, uh, it's an original. We were thinking what to do. Should we use this one from last year? Should we, can we find another one? And then, I, unknown to me, my son and his friend, Tristan, that's Tristan on the keyboard and Nathaniel on the PA, uh, somewhere. He just disappeared. He just disappeared, yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're some of our children and our children's friends, but Jackie and Trevor, I'm worrying them, they're my children for this week as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and they, they were secretly working on something, and then he said, uh, Mum, I've got a surprise for you. I was like, what? We've written a song for the conference. Like, what? Okay, let me hear it, let me hear it. And I heard it, and I was like, wow, praise the Lord. Excited to share it with the team. I haven't shared it with the whole team. So this is our <laughs> debut of their song. Um, and this is our song as well, so we're going to go through it a couple of times and um, by the end of the week you'll be singing it in the shower, everywhere, we'll be hearing you on campus, he heals, he restores, okay, whichever key, so please um, follow us, we're going through this, we are fresh um, and, um, and we're tired, and we're tired, so excuse us. <laughs> inspiring our young people. Amen. 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 I was I wanted to cry when I heard that. I took it to work with my work colleagues. I was like, this is this, this is this. Okay, so we can share the gospel in so many different ways. <laughs> 